out there. You know, they've lost like a combined like almost 200 pounds. That gym That's has achieved some great results for humanity. Okay. OG's oh, turn yeah. to pick. All right. I we have a draft. Let's, let's check it out. Same bands. LGD's turn yep. To Faces pick. Void was the issue. Screwed their strategy up. They're like, wow, they weren't going to take it in the first phase. We can get Phoenix, right? Nope. OG. Learned their lesson from last game. We'll snag it up. Now, LGD. Huh. How do you want to deal with this? <laughs> really, Ben? <laughs> That's my thinking face, dude. I think. How do you want to deal with this? I don't know. I can't. I can't do the stereotypical Chinese sound. Just that was just my normal voice. <laughs> my, mine has a, a Cantonese accent thrown in. Oh, okay. Just talk normally with me. I mean, how can you tell? I am talking. How can you saw? How can you saw my accent? How can you saw me? Kunga first pick again. Ooh. It is good versus Faces Void. Yes, it is. It's good with Faces Void and against. Ten seconds remaining. But it's generally pretty bad in lane. I guess harassing is awful. Five he needs levels remaining. because Tornet got boned in the level one scaling. Well, as we saw from last game, Kunga by himself is not good, but when you pair it with the right heroes, right? For the safe lane, they pair it with the Shadow Shaman and Gyro. Where's the drought picks, by the way? Oh yeah, it was rampant the first day. Or the pucks, you know? Not so... I guess OG didn't run it as much. They won't armor nerf. <laughs> didn't, Unplayable. Didn't stop Zai from playing a devastating support puck earlier in the tournament. Was it crit? I thought it was crit. I thought it was Zai. Oh, they ran a crit puck? Yeah, five position puck. Okay, maybe it was crit. Oh, we didn't actually cut the game on the main stream, so... So who do they want against the phases void? They picked Shaman last time. It was great, apparently. They probably want more... S what else was key for them? Marana? I don't think OG's gonna pick, so they don't have to pick it up first. So we'll be right, Shaman, Shaman again. OG's they could go for Phoenix this time. I think it's much better when you have the faces what on your side. Mm -hmm. But it did not do so much for their lane presence in game numero uno. So even though LGD has the exact same heroes, I don't think they could employ the, the Shaman wards. Remaining. The same way they did last time. I don't think you just put down the ward and just watch it Five beat down the building because it's much easier, I think, for OG to now let's say wrap in from the back Reserve or time. counter initiate stuff like that. You always got to be a little more skeptical when a team goes straight back to the same draft and their opponents have like already seen it, had a chance to game plan. Yeah, especially against the top tier team. See, like that's my thinking face too. He rubs his which one beard. Do you Wind use that same combination of fingers, though? No, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's flipping the bird. Dude, that's actually very common. I was my dad was like reaching to turn, change the radio. He uses middle finger. It's, yeah. it's your longest finger. Yeah, Scra the the nose scratch with the middle finger. You know, that's the that's like elementary school though. That's intentional. Yeah, he's just he's just trying to scratch his uh, scratch his hairs, man. I find that my my pointer is more dexterous though. That's because you, you haven't middle yeah, finger you enough. Haven't, you haven't used the middle finger because you think it's rude. So you're saying I'm not I'm un, underdeveloped yes. on my middle finger. Yeah, it's dexterity. the longest finger, yeah. man. You're making you have made so many inefficient plays at, in your youth <laughs> that now you have to keep using. <laughs> but why do, I, why do I need to scratch with my middle finger? Because it's your longest finger. <sighs> How much do you guys scratch in your faces? Is if you press a button, if you point at something, anything. it's your longest finger. Yeah. Anything. You could probably gain like a hundred MMR if you <laughs> gain, trained. You gain like a millimeter. That adds up, dude. A lot of people would give for one millimeter. There you go. Uh, that is certainly true. Okay, so Phoenix taken up. No surprise there. They just drafted in the wrong order last game. Jarex is not amused. Remaining. <laughs> He's okay. like, this is what the first game should have been. Not, Thanks, fly. Not, not the happiest I've ever seen him. Yeah, because he's in China. So. Time. Yeah, he's thinking about how many hours he's wasted by not using his middle finger. <laughs> he's no. watching maybe in the I would, I would bet you $100 oh, that he has literally Turn never had bad. that thought in his entire life. Have you shown him the maybe video right there? We're not going to prep him. <laughs> We're gonna ask him if he's ever thought about his inefficiency with his middle finger. Maybe. Okay, you can ask him. You wanna take the bet? No, I know. Oh, get dumpster. But I still want you to ask him. Ben with the bet fiend. You're gonna be like backing uh, down. Five seconds remaining. It's okay, Ben. I know you're scared. LGD keep on betting this terrible. Reserve time. 
probably the go-to safe laner for no tail when OG need like a strong pushing hero. Yeah, he's I think the best tower hitter that they play. Their trial strats are like decent, I would say, but Terrorblade I think they play much much better around. Oh, did I say that LG didn't make no mistake last game? Mm. What? I remember that one fight. That where... was in the break, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one fight. Uh, remember they just lost Kunga and Rasta, and the half the team didn't show up in time. Mm -hmm. That was a big mistake. No, but then was... apart from that, they, that they... was a, an intentional sandbag to lull OG oh, into a false sense of security. They were pulling the siege, uh, the CG, the clutch gamer. You think clutch gamer is gonna be EG today? Um, no. Nope. Okay. Yo, three and EG knows how to ban brood. That's it's, a no. It's a lower bracket game, also. I mean. So you think EG has a natch plus 10% because <laughs> his lower bracket? I guess that all those lower, big lower bracket performances were with PPD for the most part, remaining. so maybe not as much nowadays. EG's level 10 talent. <laughs> plus 10% lower <laughs> bracket win rate. <laughs> that's, that's only their level 10 talent. What's the level 25? We don't know yet. They haven't gotten there. They're slaying too many noobs. They're not getting any, enough XP. Do you LC here? If you're OG, um, Ten like remaining. easy, a very it. good against. Get that a bad. Very good. Five seconds. I'm down for LC. It, it just the the laning might be really hard because like Shadow Shaman. Reserve time. Again, just walks up to you with Shadow. But where the damage at, dude? Phoenix. Void yeah, they, LC? they ban the Invoker, so it would be kind of limited for Ana. Doesn't get his preferred mid. No deeps, man. Beastmaster, another attack speed hero versus Phoenix. Yeah, I like that they're respecting the Phoenix pick. We've Ten seen a few teams just not pick anything that's good against the egg and then Fly just LGD's takes over in some of the mid-game team pick. fights. This is the proper order. This is the proper order. Yep. Last game, the Tusk was really stranded in terms of which, which lane he could gank. Couldn't gank the Void, couldn't gank the Mirana. Now at least Beastmaster is... Always available as a gank target. Yeah, also a good pseudo roar counter. Ah, yeah, yeah. Jarax was making some huge snowball plays. So pretty terrible ward hitters though. Ward killers. Just chrono them and ignore them. Easy. OG's turn to pick. Maybe Quap, one of his best heroes. Ooh. LGDs. Do you need an objective yeah. taker? Void isn't going to give you that. Neither of the supports do. This team fight for Moji is really scary. A lot, That's what of, you long, said last game. lot of long cooldowns <laughs> to exploit. <laughs> That's true. Although they never actually got a successful team fight off, right? The egg just always popped in. Five but now the egg is going off, I think. You think? You think? <gasps> Unless uh, they don't... Oh, you know, I like that ban. LGD have done their bad. homework. Okay. No safe lane visage for Mr. No-Tail. No-Tail actually sometimes plays the Death Prophet on Does their he? team. He used to... I haven't seen them run Death Prophet too much recently. Ten I'll check. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Seven months ago. That's that's a lot of months yeah, ago. Yeah, seven months ago. It's Reserve a really long time. time. I really, I again, I really Five have not seen them remaining. run it to. Oh, the last ban drow. Pick. It's kind of weird how the drow was like first banner pick for most of the games, then all of a sudden just ignored. Uh, OG's turn to pick. Oh, geez. Oh, okay. No tail did play it. Last time they did play the death prophet, he did play it mid. And oh god, played there's the safe so lane. many long cooldowns from OG now. But in, silencer in, in, insane team fight. I was thinking silencer. Uh, at least they have KB first ulti remaining. with Beastmaster. You know they purposely put the girl on the side so they could see your legs or her legs. Reserve time. Hmm. Okay. What? They just right there. <laughs> like no, I'm serious. Like I heard the Chinese casters about it. They wouldn't have like a taller table or a stand. Mm hmm. You know how like you know at that uh, English broadcast of the Valve events, because you couldn't see their le her legs. Well, it's certainly not a tactic unfamiliar to traditional television. You know, make it, so. it, we, we real sports now, Lumi. Yeah. I just thought that was a very important part of the draft that we needed this case. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted out. Yeah. I, it was really distracting me.
Uh, but Medusa, so another hero that can be really annoying for these big wombo combo ultimates. And very tanky. Is that the counter to the uh, the Chrono Egg, right? She turns on her ult and she just hits the egg and there's not much her team could do about it, right? The the Phoenix range issues could... though. Yeah. Dragon Lance will be in order. He also has a lot of attack speed slow, Tusk Sigil and then Phoenix. True. But yeah, you Ten can just stand there. Remaining. Faces Void probably has to go for like a Manta Diffusal build though. That's very Five common versus Medusa remaining. to have any sort of mana burn possible. Then again, he might need Lincolns this game too. There's a lot of ways to catch this Void out. So Ana Void. When is the last time Ana played Faceless Void? I will check. It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. I was itched to answer. Competitive zero. Right. Zero games. This will be a first. And maybe a last, depending on how it goes. DL deep. I'm not right there. there. <laughs> not feeling optimistic, but. Uh, I mean, it is a pretty big departure for OG just going like all team fight. Don't really have that big split push objective taker aside from like the DP ult, but that's normally not how they do it. They tend to do it more with like heroes that can always be ratting or taking some sort of objective, whether it's the Invoker or the Naga or the Meepo. <laughs> how do you think Valve's going to handle the chat with TI? Do you think they're just going to leave it as is? Do you think they're going to mute it? Leave it as is. Maybe, maybe they'll give. Uh... Like, can you imagine? Like, you're totally new to this game. Like, you've literally never watched it before, and you just have all these random, like, incomprehensible screaming in other languages on the English yeah, broadcast. You do have a good point. They, they have a. Oh, what a block! Victoria locked in against four heroes. He right. looks give like he could yeah. be in some uh, okay. trouble. Trouble. So maybe they should have like an orientation to the players. It's like, okay, you could use that in the beginning of the game, but you, know. uh, you cannot expect the players to follow rules uh, about I mean, the. What are you gonna do? Nicely. Like dock them prize money if they, if they you, use the chat wheel? I think it would help if you give them that orientation. Instead. No, that sounds like an awful idea. Really? If they don't want, if they don't want the chat wheel to be used, they should just disable it from the broadcast. No, it's not. I think I think Valve wants it to be used, right? That That's sells the thing, more right? hats. In theory, yeah. yeah. But it, you know, maybe doesn't attract the, the broader. Swath of humanity, won't be. Swath of humanity. <laughs> you clearly have not managed players before <laughs> if you think that they're gonna listen to a play. Hey, can you use that thing that's really fun to use? <laughs> I'm about to hit, it's a disaster, I can't wait. 357, I'm counting down to it. I'm only at like 300. Oh, so. I'm, I'm like 310, so I'm looking forward. You're almost there, it's 50 levels, almost there. Yeah, you just party up with some uh, some rich kids that have like the thousand gold coins, right? <laughs> and then, uh... Lumi looking for rich players to party with that can carry him. Yep. <laughs> you gotta be rich, and you gotta carry some dead weight. Who's your sugar? Who's your sugar? Mommy so or daddy? So far, nobody. <laughs> either, either they are... They are seeking, seeking Dota's sugar mommy. Either they're not good At or... Luminous Inverse. Or they can't carry me. Or both. Let them know. Old Eleven not opting for the jungle this time, but his quick buy is yes, otherwise. We've actually seen that uh, exact lane. The, the Phoenix support versus the Beastmaster, and Fly just like kept dumping the, the Firebirds on him, and the Beastmaster could not do a thing. So I think actually switching to the jungle is a... is a play there. No tail? Playing aggro on maybe. He does have a hill ward. Victoria's still gonna have a fish with that torrent. Won't quite connect. You want 11. Going pretty deep here in the top lane. The shards are presumably gonna be coming out soon. They will oh. catch him. Keeps him away from the shop. He can't buy the TP scroll. He does. Oh, he actually just has the range. Max what? Range. Didn't you could buy him that far? Yeah. This is my old 11 is a professional. How is that possible? Everything. Okay, you know the secret shot with the radiant secret shot? I'm not right to the left of it, I can't even buy it. The tree just blocks the Yeah, whatever. what the heck? Do you have to have vision of it or something? What, what on earth is that? 
He was so far away. It's you're not just, just, yeah. I don't know what it's like. He's like, what? You can buy from it? I just, I literally just saw him do it. No, no, no. <laughs> see, the the, uh. the theory is that the shopkeeper has to see you, right? So for the radiant, the radiant seeker shop, and you coming in from the back line, he's like, whoa. You spook me from behind. <laughs> I don't see you. I don't sell to you. Did you steal my ware? So what if you kill all the trees? Do you just get like... Yeah, sure. You know. Can you just buy I don't know. Let's see where? Victoria. Oh, oh, these... Where's that shopkeeper when you need him? No damage. No. Oh, he can't oh. even afford anything. Get out of my shop. Poverty conquer. <laughs> he kicks you out. Oh, got the rune. Got it. But stolen. Fortune's chain. Oh, this Jarek's going for a play here. He's level two. Almost has the mana for the snowball. Oh, Victoria, if he sticks around, his tangoing up looks like he'll be a bit too tanky. What happened to all of Kunga's tango? Did he share two mid? He's like, he's like, I, don't I think he did pull. Oh, he also died at the start. Uh, I think yeah, he ate okay. one early. Yeah, he went very early on, I believe. No, you know you know out. Outbound. These shards, Jerex. This is what should have happened last game. Jerex in his element. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Great start here for OG. Oh, by the way, the ags on Medusa is surprisingly good. The uh, changing in Mystic Snakes to be through Stone case. Oh, it turns into stone when it hits. Oh, they, you could just hit. Your Mystic Snake could just hit, right? That that's not even a hex thing. Huh? What? You, when you hit them with Mystic Snake, it Mystic. turns them into stone. Okay, that's the exit. All clear? right, all right, that's good. Are you okay. talking about the normal Mystic Snake, Lumi, or what are you asking about? S sorry, I was I was just confused. Without axe, you could still Mystic Snake, Stone Gaze targets, yeah. and it would just yeah. still hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I don't play Deuce at all. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Lucky you. Lucky. I have more respect for you now. <laughs> even more. So, so Ben, I, I do want to hear you talk more about that. Like, why did you decide to go X? What in the game that, like on Dusa? I, I didn't. I watched it. Oh, you watched I it. I played okay. it. I played it with someone who got it. Okay. And at, you it know. instantly kills illusions, which is pretty important versus uh, okay. this team. Actually, it, versus like a Manta du Manta Diffusal carrier, like Faces Void might go in this game, or like AM with Manta, who are her natural counters. It actually owns. Them. But it's not. It's not one of those builds that, like, if you've never Why? seen it before, you'll probably not go for it. You know. Um, that is true. Yeah. It's just a very awkward item to fit into your build. Getting the oof business here, bottom. You know, not having a whole lot of fun now. No tail gonna give him the spirit siphon. Miss turns around, gets it with the ether shock. Oh yeah. Revenge. You want Four, zero for revenge. Victoria flies wise to his shenanigans, diving back, we'll dodge away. So OG off to a great start here. They need maybe to maybe help him out or in the early game because Medusa, she's just one of those heroes that can't do much in the early game. You need probably two items, I think, before you can actually like start doing stuff instead of just being super passive in team fights. You could maybe turn things around with Stone Gaze, but oh, big oh. Now he has no blink mana. Oh, he's got a bottle charge. Bottle blink. Up pill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he That's knows. Over he Drop your branches. He dropped them. Meanwhile, <laughs> up top. Eleven. No TP for you, sir, says Anna. Dude, this Dusa pick is messing up their lane so much. Like, compared to the Gyro last game, right? Really? I think it's just the Tusk that's messing them up. Well, well, here's the thing. Like, last game, Shackle comes out from the tree, and then Gyro just gives you kills, right? Because the Shackle doesn't do anything bottom, it doesn't actually set up kills, even if you Shackle the Enigma. He's not there. He's been juggling There's the that, too. So it forces the Kunkka and the Shaman to roam around, and then in the river, the Tusk just eats you alive. Yeah. He's got the Oove and the Boots. The difference that it make to have a Feeding Tide and a Farming Enigma jungle. Uh, from the opposing supports this so far so good for OG uh oh he's been in a little bit of trouble Ooh, nice treat. good shards trap there still 11 though trying to juke away getting slowed down here hounded by Ana gets the bash and should be able to get the kill little snowball secures us Tusk is the same level as Beastmaster that's what do you know things are really bad yeah Victoria going for a kill on No-Tail right now hey big daddy 
By the way, he I guess he changed his name back. Snowball Big safe? Daddy for a while. Snowball. Still getting a lot of work done with the Spirit Siphon. Yao, almost dead. Jarek's able to punch him down. Pika Shark to block people out. Giant Scythe of his now revving up the Snowball. There is a scream. And this one maybe won't miss. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was so funny when you The self blame. Gotta love that deprecation. <laughs> I felt like that was a all chat. It's a disaster moment because it really was. He didn't actually die though. Uh, you missed your Sonic wave. It's, really... it's a melee range Sonic wave, dude. Those are hard to hit. Do you play co op? No. Dude, can't you just click see, it on the no, hero? No, you can't. Like, they changed it, so you can't uh, click on the hero anymore. That's why it's hard. It's like Nick's done. You can't click on the hero anymore. You know, yesterday, Jack, I was... Oh, I told you guys about this game. I was playing Kunka, he's playing Lina. I x torn the target, and he missed melee range Dragon Slave. That you could click on the hero, I'm sure. Yes. And that you should not miss. Hey, Jack is up to 5100. He is climbing, Lenny. Jack. How dare you? Yeah, he was, he was saying he's uh, earning from NA MMR, dude. Well, he was losing that NA MMR at first. S4 going for... Ooh. He's pretty close to Black Hole. Maybe is playing on the left side, though, where he does yeah, have a little... There's Hill Ward as well. Yep. Snowball in on that. Top tower has Actually, been I don't denied. know. That, that sounds really tough to pull off. Silence in the Snowball. But Death Prophet is not level anymore. Oh, yeah. Tasty little double damage and Jerex does not care about this though. Quick shards up and now the rotation. This is a polar opposite performance for the Shaman. He gets completely run down. Snowball. Almost a solo kill goes for the neutral the denies. Neutrals? They are not cooperating. They are not Yao's friends. Oh, I thought the stomp was gonna get the kill. That's really hard. Stomp does 25 damage. Right I mean if you calculate yeah, If you are a calculator. 780, man. Didn't get it properly. Oh, he doesn't have stone gaze. They don't know that, though. You gotta test it out. Make him use it. What are you gonna do? Chrono him? Go yeah, make him use it. Pretty big gamble. Dyer's top tower Just look him in the eyes. <laughs> That's like, you don't have it. That's exactly what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not man. only is Lumi not a Dusa player, he's not an anti Dusa player. <laughs> Your Achilles heel, Lumi. Yeah, Ugly snake ladies. Can they stall this push in the mid lane? Torrent going to connect on some creeps, but that will lock him in with... These shards have been on point from Jerax, continuing to make plays around the map as they want. Victoria, they'll get him. He did sacrifice a little bit of his life to save the tower, though. Yeah, a lot of exorcism time was wasted for that kill. Is that worth? That's worth. I think it's worth. That's a good time. I don't think That's they get the tower time. now. You will put that under uh, exorcism uh, conversion maybe. rate. Maybe. Possibly. I guess they will. No one coming to defend this. Just Dame. I'm a bit too late, but there's a trade. Eleven and maybe working on top. Tandem. Tag teaming this tower down. We'll build the eleven. Go four zero four two. Excellent. Excellent. So these heroes are pretty ass when you're. Playing from behind. Medusa's teams are usually behind, though. Yeah. Unlike the other Drow Aura. So I think this is. I mean, it's not great for them, but the net worth, even with that tower, is not that bad for them. Barely 2,000. It, it's just that, you know, when you have a, a Shaman team, you're like, okay, once Shaman gets six, we could start getting some towers. But because they're so far behind, they don't think that's going to be. It's a completely different game though because they have a do so, so right. they can play a lot more passively. They don't actually have to push. So, do you think it's more accurate to talk about the high ground of LGD? Like, I think it's more Roshan. I think Ro Roshan number one will dictate a lot of uh, where and when things happen because okay. then I think they can actually like stop and do some farming the ancients. Because you, there always comes that point where like the carry just power farms the ancients, especially here in like, Medusa Spend. They just farm the ancients. Over Mana getting over. baited any time. Walks forward into a quapple and into a roar. Oh, chance nice. he comes out trying for the snowball in. Jerex may have also cost himself his life. Escape plans are lacking. And he will go down a double for maybe worst possible time to time walk in and a fantastic bait by LGD. On top of that, they're going to dodge this OG rotation bottom. They might have to forfeit the tower, but at the very least, they don't give up another kill. Still taking tower on bottom without exorcism's pretty good value. Also, we have zero black holes coming out from S4, and he is farming up a storm. He is not that high in net worth, but he is set up to be... Oh, he is. He's in that farm mode, dude. 
once you get to level 15 with that Midas and you get 15 CDR. Ana making the move. I um, did not have his mana shield on. No melt. <laughs> I don't know if they get that kill nearly so easy in other parts. I think you can just mana shield. Because you can like TP in the Kunkka, drop the boat. There's no T1 though. Oh, that's true. But it still would have been way harder for them because Faces Void has to just tread them first. Yeah, classic mistake, not keeping Man the Shield on. It's level 3 too, so he's still getting value out of it. He's gone for the early Blade Mount build. I've seen this a little bit more recently. Do you guys like the quick Blade Mail? Blade Mail is so value, uh, gold-wise. Every piece of stat on that item is good for Medusa. Armor, intelligence. I don't, I don't know how helpful the active is, though. I think the active is pretty useful. Because you're not taking that much damage. You're like, you're a damage sponge. And there's a lot of damage they can't avoid, like Sunray, Midnight Pulse, Exorcism. This like, cosmetic is pretty cool. Is it better than something like uh, Dragonlance? Helps you hit the uh, Phoenix Egg a little bit better? It depends on what you're trying to do. She's trying to do a lot of damage, and tank up a little bit. The armor is not particularly useful versus the Void, but it is very good versus Death Prophet. It just depends on what stats you need. Dragonlance doesn't give you that much armor. And uh, this gives you more damage. But the brown boots, I'm not a huge fan. I will tell you that. Too soon. The future BOT dream, man. 15 minute BOT. Yeah, you, should be, you should be <laughs> giving this thunderous applause, then. Not the boat, the hero. torrent, the axe, the oh, pop hold as well, but Sunray to the rescue. Uh, Anna, shake with the stick. That's a big commitment. And meanwhile, top lane, S4, looking for the opening here, has that hole. The threat of it drives Yao away. And 11 into the trees, where OG will chase him down. Nice, uh, Shackles, but maybe well, not so nice too. in the end. But why? Oh, he wanted to save his friend. Not so nice, Shackles. That's when you say, wait, Shimo. What's that mean? Why? Why? For what? <laughs> yeah, for what? You have to say it with a little more emotion. You though, just surely. say that in, in surely in Chinese uh, to your teammates. Wait, oh, that's fast smoke. What? Uh, a tasty kill here. If they can find Mr. Maybe Malphus. Oh! Somehow blinks away. Still though. Oh. Gonna go down. He had a lot of fire ticks on him, so he couldn't. What a smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Can they get uh, agents off of this? Mm, no exorcism. If they. They don't have lads. Maybe with lads they can, but it's still pretty soon. Yeah, exorcism mana. Oh, Fly is out in no man's land. He does have egg. Oh, oh there the oh. shot! The beam! Oh, dude, that is. Good teamwork, but. Drex had a really sick shards uh, where he pushed like one of his teammates over this cliff. Uh, I think it was an epicenter, maybe Manila Masters. Just like force the hero down the ledge with a well placed shard. Oh, if you ever get clifted, uh, you could push. Clifted? <laughs> Clift. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. If you ever get clifted, go on. You could push your allies off of those clips or shards. That's cool. But your your ally needs to like hug the edge of the cliff and then you just spam the shard in the middle of the So what LGD do at this point? Just farm the Deusa and just kinda of sit back? It's generally what you do with Deusa strats. But OG have a mega farmed lineup right now. They've got the Midas on the Enigma, the DP is, you know, doing decently well, the void's getting a lot of the safe lane. Like, can you really get away with just trading farm? The thing is, you can't win the game unless you have a super farm Dusa. Right. And if you lose a fight, they just like they have so much team fight right now with Black Hole, which has still hasn't been used at the Profit Ultimate. That your chances of winning a team fight are pretty low. Like they don't have a good way to like instantly blow up a hero. At least not not any of the important heroes. They tried with Faces Void, and that was only with one hero there. So in, the, in an actual team fight, it's very unlikely that it's going to happen unless they get the Orchid on the Queen of Pain, which she is building now. And then once Medusa gets more items, so she can actually start hitting pretty hard. But I still think it's going to be a relatively slow start for RGD while they wait for 
their items to come out. I would say like maybe 25-30 minutes is when they'll feel more comfortable to be on the offensive. Yeah, in terms of the net worth graph, like, I, I think they're doing okay. Uh, the cores that need to be farmed are farmed. Uh, this Enigma is going to be a big issue though. When's that level 15 coming? Is he close? 13 and change. And you get that 15% CDR? My goodness. Once you get a uh, Octarine and the 15% CDR, your Blink Dagger is like at 7.5 second cooldown or something ridiculous. I mean, the thing that's scary is like you have to basically save out. the roar for this black hole. Yeah. Yao knows what's going on, kind of. They do have a Hawk in the area at Roast, but it just died. Oh, what are LGD thinking? Game right sense it. No, the, the chicken, the chicken sense. Oh, chicken. Who's Medallion's up? Oh, Beastmaster. All right. Crest. Okay, it radiant skin hit. They know they're at Roche, and it looks like they are going to smoke up on their own, but Ame did not get that much value from that, and this thing is Don't dead. gaze time. Still, though, OG. Oh, that's shard. Forced to it's going to brawl here. Off. The boar is revealed. Do they jump into the pit? Good positioning on the frozen sigil. The sunray protects them, but still the boat crashes in momentarily. Ame commits. Roche low, not dead yet. Good zoning wards driving them back and away. They get the roar off here, but it's a big old tank lady duel as Death Prophet and Dusa engage. The chrono deploys. Only matches can on this does trap those wards. Limiting the damage output, but the Roche not dead yet. Ana gonna snag it. Roche kill going the way of the dire. Clear win for them in that regard. OG also getting the shaman kill. They did lose their Enigma. They blew all their ults. They just want to get out now. But Victoria hoping possibly to turn this around finds the torrent on no temple where's the damage to bring him down it's gonna have to come for maybe gets off the shadow strike and with the help of the solo crest they're muscling him low they're gonna be able to finish him off that's gonna be three can they get on a two he's got the ages the x sets up the torrent can follow lgd making something big out of what looked like a clear og win Fourth kill wow. of the fight is theirs. Do they stick around for more? They got X again. Respawns are coming. Orchid. Orchid. There is BKB black hole available. They're gonna try to force on it down, and they will do so. Oh, Make it goodness. five kills, counting the Aegis takedown. And, and the tier one. The way that way LGD take these fights, though, like you thought they were, they were gonna get blocked by the shards, but yeah, they went down the river. They it was went down so the river. Smart, yeah. And, and I think Beastmaster went up the top side of the river, so he got that roar on the Enigma. That's the dream. Yep. They knew exactly who they needed to focus. Honest Chronosphere only got one as well. And also a Chrono... Yeah, just Chrono 1, right? I... Did he Chrono his uh, teammate? He Chrono 2 and the wards. So the Shaman will okay, okay. So I was like, okay, but not, not, not game winning. But he, he was inside the pit. He had to try and finish off Roshan. So that's why he wasn't there at the start of the fight. No tail. He's going to be able to finish off Yao. Meanwhile, oh, nice pick. Oh. Yao dodging away from it. Just getting tickled. By the trail of that Crypt Swarm stays alive. They do silence up Victoria. He's going to sack his life. Heads north. No TP. No way out. Bolts, man. There you go. Get those creeps. Boom. Yum, yummy, yummy rum. Too short. Oh, no. That was just animation. Like, push out the wave. <laughs> Got him. Space created. LGD definitely not out of this one. I think they're ahead after that team fight. Well, they have do so on their team. So yep. I think Game agrees. Loom. That's a big swing of momentum. Almost... 5k gold over the last, you know, five, six minutes or so. But it isn't really decided, right? Because this game's going to drag out, and I, I think OG has cores that could farm up and scale into the late game extremely well. I, I agree. They don't have good farming items on the void, though. Yeah, no Midas, no That's Battle true. Fury, no, no Maelstrom, no Mask. Yeah. That, is, that is the big concern. Yep. No yeah, where, where is that Mask? Ana has not been watching replays. I don't know, that, that armor is actually pretty critical of this game. Oh yeah, he needs he needs it. Yeah. But it, the point is he has no farming on Even Vlads, right? Vlads would sure. be pretty good for them. It's okay. S4 will uh will, will farm. Well Queen of Pain went from not even having Orchid at the Roshan fight to almost having Orchid and Yules. And now Medusa has her second item, so she can start doing a lot more. So the kind of scary thing though for LGD is that S4 has a BKB and Ana has a complete Lincoln. So this is like an unstoppable black hole with a blink dagger coming soon Stone for S4. Gaze. Yeah, I even, guess. Even Boat, I think, is like really good to deal with it, right? You All you need is your Medusa to be in a pretty good position and then it's it becomes increasingly difficult for Enigma to hold. You can't just like walk into the fight. He doesn't have any survivability. You have other people to start it, right? He doesn't he's, have to be... He doesn't have blink though, so he's still he has close. He's very he's close, close to close. blink. Yeah. He's very close to blink. You're not that afraid of the Enigma, just because of the Dusa. You're right, because 
like a black hole is not going to kill this Medusa. She's very well, uh, unless she doesn't have mana shield on, which ha has happened once before. In this <laughs> but I don't think that's happening. He's still okay. very tanky. If he gets his blade mail off, which he should be able to, in, like in between the midnight pulls and the ulti cast, like he, you can't really focus her down. Oh, Effective this, HP is this is the X rush. Very high. Good call there. X owned, underrated. Here Underrated. comes the smoke break, though. Perhaps not from the ideal hero, unless I'm gonna maybe dodges a bullet. I'm gonna quickly check Sun's fan. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep my eyes on this game where Yao does manage to break that Lincoln Sphere on Ana. Maybe gets the whole hate, and he will go down. The roar comes out, but it's after the first kill, and now Yao's on the run. The egg gets dropped, allowing OG to chase forward. Great control here. The wards are committed, ineffective, and Note Tail on the hunt wants a piece of Victoria, chasing after. Admiral Kunkka, a big dive towards the base, follow-up Sunray, next to them a third kill. The OG surprise pays off. According to Sunsfan, the uh, Ax is ranked 76 and it's placed under the overrated category. Placed in the overrated? Overrated category. So 76 out of 100? Out of all of the heroes. Oh, 76. It's, so yeah. it's like bottom third. Yeah, it's, it's not It's overrated? Oh, that's what this site says. Overrated. Cinderin's face, overrated. It's pretty ownage. I've never seen it, so I'm ready to learn a lot from this game. Top tower I think it's top underrated. Top. Okay. Like Cinderin's face. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. We'll see. And the thing about Medusa is she can use all the stats from the Scepter, which is pretty rare. Definitely needs a mana, definitely needs HP. Well, not definitely, but still can't use HP and. Plus 10 damage is pretty good. And HP and mana is always pretty good. All good. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. There's some heroes that you don't really want Scepter on. You're like, eh, these stats suck. Victoria is very poor. Poverty mode. I smell Chick fil A. How do you smell Chick fil A? Jesus. Is that just how hot it is in here? Maybe I'm just having LD? I'm having hallucinations. Let me. I don't smell Chick Fil A. Do you smell Chick Fil A? No. No. Maybe that's just. Do OG, maybe that's, that's just what I want to smell. <laughs> Do OG smell the smoke incoming? Yes. And they also they smell Chick Fil A. They where, where did he pop the link? Oh, he put on no tail. Oh. Huh. Oh, interesting. God, it is interesting. Here comes the seeds. They pop down those wards oh, and LGD. All them boars, dude. The work. Eleven coming in. Starts the fight on No Tail. Manages to lock him down with the boat crashing through. Oh, but the save. Jerax with the timing. They still hex him. They still commit for this. Blade now out. Ame in the front. He's already committed the stone gaze. They get up the spirit site and they've mostly broken through his mana. He's in too deep. Ame goes down. And the beauty of a chrono from Mono. Kaboom goes the egg. And splat go LGD. Completely. Wait, Sharma. Why? You drop down Serpent Wards, you have four boards, and you have a Deuce sieging the tier two. Make them come to you. Because I don't think they have enough burst damage to kill. That's what they should have done. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they they wanted to fight in, the, in between that window where Black Hole was still on cooldown. But now it's back up, so they're probably going to lose another team by afterwards. And that was a great snowball save. I mean, no tills. Is it that important to kill the DP off at the start of the fight? Dusa is not as tanky as she needs to be to she, dive that deep. Yeah, she, she got dumpstered in that fight. How did she lose all of her mana? Uh, just auto, just damage. She was standing in Midnight Pulse. She was standing in Midnight Pulse, she was tanking the Spirit Sight. No, Midnight Pulse was, was towards the end. That was oh, when was all her mana was gone. I Ana think she was, tanked the Sun Rare or something. It must be. Uh, Spirit Siphon was on her. She was getting hit by okay. the Void. Okay. A lot of small stuff. And she's just not... Like, she's got, like, her basic kit, but she's not, like, a out-of-control Dusa yet. I mean, that team fight was just, a, I think, a poor decision rather than, like, mis-execution and stuff like that. Well, they didn't have to dive, right? They could right. just sat behind the wards, take the tower. And then back off. Chill. If they come in, you stone gaze, and then, you know, you take a fight there. They just got really excited after the last fight because of the no black hole. Yep. But that is the power of this OG draft. They're so good at countering that roar. If if the snowball saves there, even if not, like you can chrono counter initiate. Yeah. Sure. Same with the black hole. So. Exactly. I think they need to really evaluate how they take the fights. So I think they, I think pressuring the Enigma is priority, the highest priority in the team. But. 
He did complete the blink, and now on his way to his own personal Lincoln Spear. Yep. Yeah, meanwhile, maybe. Eleven is gonna tank that spear at Siphon. A nice shards catch again by Jerax and OG. Turn up the heat. Pound down mid. Don't talk about heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to turn it off? No. <laughs> oh my God, they they could lose some real estate. Real estate here. Some real real estate. Real real, real estate. estate. Really, really real. With the bow on top, okay. Maybe staying alive. Gets off that Yules. Rink, where are you gonna blink? Uh, no Chrono. No nice chance. Rink. That bow buff. And now Roshan is up. S4 is around there. This could be a time for them to go. They do not have Chrono Spirit and they do have the Shadow Shaman Servant Wards up, but right now LGD have to make a move. They've fallen too far behind in too many team fights. Oh, she almost has Scepter too. This is the power spike. This is time Pow to see. The scepter power spike. Pow scepter power spike. power spike. It's on. I'm excited to see this next match. Ooh, I want to check out some level 25 talent. Let's make it uh, All right, well, let's see. Dusa, no eggs just yet. It's just arrived mid fight, but the hole comes through. The wards get dropped. Just the counter play. The stone gaze. The stone gaze is the answer. S4 is denied. The Dusa stays alive. Now the roar comes out. Got a little bit of extra mana. Keeps on fighting forward. Let's go dunk them, LGD. Charge in. They want Jerax. They'll kill him off too. Four have fallen. Power spike. That the power wasn't the spike. Power spike. That was the stone gaze. Did, did he get the uh, the axe deliver for that fight? No, right? It Just, came mid fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it came mid fight. After the, the surprise time. stats, man. Got him. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, what a great stone gaze. Be easy to for them. Don't call it a comeback just yet, but LGD, they have completely eviscerated that OG lead. He is going for the boots of travel play. I see Dude, it. I'm telling you, brown boots 40 minutes. And you question <laughs> you question the brown boots. I don't bad. know. I, I think I think he's so better off to upgrade it. And then if you want to go BOT now, just sell yeah. and upgrade. How do you dare question this deuce after that last fight? <laughs> Your insolence. You suppressed one button. <laughs> it was a very important button though, Lumi. And it wasn't accidentally hitting Mana Shield and turning it off. That's, so. I guess, true. So, I mean, let's give a little credit. Instructions unclear, untoggled split <laughs> shot. <laughs> and there is just no counterplay to this don't gaze being activated, so. You don't fight. You just chill. Just back off. Bait it out. Back it off. Do it again. Uh, I think the best solution is to just silence her with Death Prophet. Okay. Because that's a really long duration of silence and they have no way for her to get out of it. A good solution. Alright. But I don't I didn't exactly see the sequence of events that went down last last fight. I don't know if the death. I don't think the TP was there. Yeah. They need that silence. Or chronosphere. Maybe the, I think he thought he could get the buckle up before the stone gaze, but Yeah. He there was not. very quick reactions by Ame. Spam R. Yes. And do it fast. Queen of Pain still managing to keep her net worth high. Uh, wait, she has 11 kills? Doesn't yeah. feel like it. I guess that's kind of life of Dusa. You don't get any kills. You just assist Treasures. a bunch of people. Just tank for your team. The good life. And that's the thing. No matter how many items you get on Nigma, you cannot be... Oh, actually, technically, you could blink towards the Medusa, turn around, black hole away from her, but still catch her because she's behind you. Is my, that two next level? My brain hurts. You that is so precise to actually put off. But yeah. it's possible. It is possible. Anything is possible. This or is you could like four staff. You could you could blink black hole and then four staff past the Medusa. Yeah. Has nice. a Lincoln. Make it hard. I mean only a TI wouldn't pull that off, so, but There's not many TI winners at this TI. What is it, six total? I believe so. Three of them on the EG TI5 squad. Sounds correct to me. Puppy the only TI1 winner with a shot to grab two. What? S4? No, TI1 winner, I said. Okay. That's like... S4 is a Han player, man. <laughs> Gustav's <laughs> a neophyte in the eyes of... Are you saying he can't pull off the blink turnaround black hole? I'm saying he's not an OG, even though he plays for OG. I think S4 is pretty OG. I think TI3 is the OG era. Is it? Are we, are we just that old now or TI3 is old school? 
I guess it, I mean, I think it's not new school. Banner Royal Hall is definitely an OG experience. What That's that true. One? That was the the death of Banner Royal. Oh, sight of vice next. What? Ame doesn't need any damage. He went for the 600 mana. This guy is just looking to be a tank god. Don't you generally go for the 600 mana? No, with the, with the scythe too. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm talking about this. Oh yeah, yeah, you do. Okay. But that plus scythe. I thought, okay, maybe he might go for more offense because he's going scythe. But scythe? Oh, sorry. Scythe? scythe? For what? We talking about scythe? <laughs> God, I love well, that. it is good to not have any HP because then Midnight Pulse doesn't actually do that much versus you. That's kind of cool. And then his Stone Gaze will kill all the Manta Illusions, so that's also kind of cool. So his mana is pretty safe here. Yeah. And aside for what though? Aside to proc those Lincolns. Okay. So yet you can Stone Gaze the real hero, right? I thought the Mystic Snake with the Axe is supposed to pop the Illusions. Yeah, but Dyer's what about if they have Lincolns? How are you gonna stun them? The Snake Lady cometh. Double damage rune. Ready, just oh. barely clipping him in the chrono, oh. but that's all he got. Or how much do they drop? The Lincolns has been broken. S4 could be roared, and indeed he is. No black hole for you, sir. Now the blade mail comes out, looking for the snowball forward. S4 controlled entirely in this fight, doing nothing really on a fourth bag. Though the deuce is starting to drop a little bit low. He has that DD. He's got the cheese. Le Fromage to the rescue will bring him back into fighting shape. Fly has found a triple in the meanwhile. Still the deuce will stay alive. Maybe hanging on, though he gets bashed. He gets controlled. One core down, but now all of OG starts to drop to a fall and they've blown their big ultimate load and they have not killed off the LGD cores as they jump on to fly. Yule Scepter deployed but no dive for some time. Now he gets silenced. Well played Big Daddy. Showing some love for his old friend and it seems OG will mount a pretty solid defense but lanes are pushing. Wow. Time to go home and defend if you're LGD. That was Medusa with a double damage. She has damage issues. Did they have Serpent Wards in that fight? They did, right? Yeah. They dropped it by the tier 3. Yeah. Okay. T3 barely got touched, even. And Black Hole got cancelled. And still, and it was a one-man Chronos here. Yeah. Uh-oh, is it time for Kunko to get Chrysalis? <laughs> I mean, I think Ami just don't build his Hex, right? I mean, also fly. Yeah, just... he already had bought the Voidstone, though. It's He's in, gold. dude. He's, He's in just, for the Hex. Just sell it, just sell it dude. No. Get too late. Damage. You're committed! You're committed at this point, dude. Is this dude D-U-D-E or dude D-O-O-D? How serious are we here? For Ame? Yeah. Mm, it's not that bad because I think maybe he can do a lot of damage. Because he's going Maelstrom and he's almost level 25. So... A little bit. Kind of... Can you do half? Can you do D-U-O-D? <laughs> Ew. Duoed? It's basically like normal dude or winter dude. Dude! dude. That's my favorite winter one. Oh, B.O.T. smoke into the mid lane. Ame does not catch the smoke though. Screw snakes. Wow. Eleven leads the charge. Ana could get caught out here. They gotta break this link. It's fast. They will do so. Roar comes through with the snowball slave. Nice counter play from OG, though they are lacking quite a few ultimates to try and take this fight. They try to control Eleven for now. He stays alive, Ame. The bulwark in the front lines. The chrono is deployed. But Fly is dropping quickly in this fight. He won't get off the egg. The stone locks down S4. Ame stands strong. The silence comes through. He doesn't care. Keeps on fighting. Yao TPing out on a shred of HP. Won't die in the fountain. It looks like barely healing up. They have to buy back on Fly to hold the line. Now they've got the black hole ready to go. The Chrono's already been expended. A beautiful shard catch, but still Ame. Ever so tanky, even the power of the sun. Only bringing him down bit by bit, not instantly finishing him off. He hangs on, pushed to the low ground. Beautifully played there by Victoria to keep his Dusa in fighting shape. They even commit the egg OG. Still chasing, still hunting. They can't slay the snake. Not yet, anyway. Oh. But the punch, just in time. At the buzzer, the torrent. Oh, it's too late. They finally get him down. Victoria on the run in the meanwhile. But a swarm of OG heroes descend, and they will eventually take him out, too. Wow. If Ame had run left to the shrine, and then shrined, I think the fight would probably still be going on right now. Yeah, but that's the problem, right? You, you have a one minute long fight as a Dusa, normally you should be very happy, right? Because that means you're alive and you're punching people, but you're punching people for, what, 160 damage? Scythe is not the item of choice. How is he going to kill anybody? All OG has to do right now is force Queen of Pain out of the fight. And then there's absolutely no damage left from the team. Who is actually hitting for more than 100 damage right now on the Radiant side? Apart from the clock. Radiant's yep, right. No one. Do have to say great buyback by Fly. I don't think they get that Deuce to kill without the, the follow-up with yeah. the Sunray. 
Ooh, DD on Ana gets bottled up. This could be problematic since Colonel Spear is already up again. He's also got a defusal now, so you've got your Manta defusal if you can catch that Dusa. Can't counter, can't do it. Gets gets snicked. Yeah. Well not if not if you catch him off guard. Yeah. They need Roche again, but I don't know. LGD at 5k gold lead. doesn't feel like it because of Deuce's items. That's the size right there. Dubious. Dubious. Dubious size. Deusa. That alliteration, though. There already is a Lotus Orb on Death Prophet, too, so Scythe is even more useless. But she has a lot of mana regen. <laughs> Plus 150%. And it's good stats. But no damage. Damage is a big issue, especially because she has BOTs. Like she and has, Lincolns. Like, and, there's and, just so much gold. And X. That's, like, not doing any damage. Plus 19 in 40 minutes. OG on the chase. They started off with no town, just trying to suck Yao's life force away from him. Commits the exorcism for this. The creeps are coming in, but at the same time, there's still a wave there. They really want to commit for Yao. They'll get him with the Sunray. The exorcism was used very early, though, so they'll lose a lot of the effective damage on tower. Still, though, OG, breach into the high ground. They've got the hole ready. In reserve as well as that Chronosphere, and I'm just gonna chuck out the illusions, but a snake will be coming soon to deal with these. Not even needed. They need to save this T3. No tail. Oh, is he gonna get it with the tail end of the spears? Decides against it. Made of that stone. As well, he should be. <laughs> Everybody dun, dun, bouncing. Dun, 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 I think you go Roche now with no uh, no exorcism. It's a very long cooldown. He does not have Octarine. And he also does not have the cooldown reduction talent at level 20. He went for the movement speed instead. Interesting. 10% is pretty low. Time but 50 moves speed. Money. But cooldown reduction yeah, is cool super reduction. important on Death Prophet. Especially now that like, he doesn't have the Octarine, right? So it makes it more important. Okay, Quap getting close to that level 25. I'm going to do a lot of damage points. There is no exorcism. Huge chunk of OG's damage removed, though. They've got all the other ults ready. And they're going to try to make their move here. Escort blinking in. Has the BKB. Oh. Black hole comes through. The stone gaze is going to turn this, though. Escort gets denied again. He just can't seem to get off a good hole this game. However, Ana's cleaning up on the back lines. He finds the two hero chrono, bringing them down. The Kunkka Shaman deleted from the fight. They didn't manage to get off the Serpent Wards near the pit. Could prove costly. Maybe doing the bulk of the damage here while Ame doing the bulk of the tank eat and control. Control. They'll X fly as he dives away. They can pull him back in. The Yules, though, is the solution. OG will get back. They don't have a black hole now. They don't have the chrono. They don't have an exorcism. They're very light on the key ultimates. The exorcism coming soonish. And LGD will not commit for this Roche. Phoenix not dying there was very important because he bought back earlier and he has a gem. So, oh, he had the gem when he dove out. Looks like he passed it on to somebody else now. Probably realizing if, if he dies, that, yeah. that would be a big blow. Shadow Shaman still has wards, but I don't think they can commit for this fight. They really need Stone Gaze. Without Stone Gaze, it's not really going to be good. Took really the uh, plus two seconds Stone Gaze talent for Medusa. Yep, that's the better talent. I think. Life steal when you don't do any damage. Yeah. <laughs> good news is he has so many ways to pop Lincolns if he gets Orchid. Bad news is he still does no damage. I mean, can Quap pick up the slack as far as the damage department goes? Uh, it seems like maybe he's trying to. You do have the Beastmaster aura, so I think so. It's happening pretty fast. She just needs 25, and she's yep. really close. After this wave, okay, she's 25. And instantly takes Spell Life Steal. Not even any consideration for fights the AoE Shadow Strike. Ugh. That is probably, that's like <laughs> Handsome sense space. Uh, may be in the shade on. Uh-oh, they made it out. So that that is really bad. It's going to be a 90-second window. they got to make the most of this, but it's so tough to fight in now with no real counterplay for S4 and that Black Hole coming soon. I think if your OG just walk into the pit now, right? Yeah, I think you walk into the pit with Exorcism and just do it. <laughs> okay, they need uh, sun hey, there's no Octarine and no talent. So, so long cooldown to expend. I wonder if Ame's considering getting getting Octarine for more stone gazes. <laughs> and more mana. More snakes. Okay, well, they are going in there. The hawk died, but they know that all five of them are in there. Eleven? Will they fight this? They're going to try. Eleven up on the high ground. Perched in position while OG 
Lurking Look at the, the wraparound from maybe. He's all the way to the north. He's trying, but no tail says screw it, man. We're not taking chances here. Exorcism out. Roche drop it quick. Nobody else in the pit to help him. Amis got that ult relatively soon. 30 seconds. It won't be in time if OG commit, but they're a bit hesitant to do that. They sit far back. They want these Lincolns to be ready. S4 BKB available. He could make a committed jump forward any second now. And no, it's Ana who starts the party. He finds two. Meanwhile, on the back lines, maybe wants to take out fly very early in this fight again the chrono nets them key support kills both supports brought down the egg will be dealt with that's 100 seconds on the sideline it's gonna be the death profit ult ending at the wrong time for og they don't have the firepower now the shaman wards are in the pit yow to the rescue perhaps oh, the hole is there by s4 but where's the deeps they lack it ana comes in a bit late and now has to retreat the quap ult comes through and maybe stands as the big damage talent Dominator here, he'll take them all out. Three down, no buyback available, no ults available. GD destroyed OG in the pit. Yao waited for the perfect moment to buy back. I thought he was gonna buy back like three times before when he died, but this was definitely the fight when he got Crone in the back line. Also, there's a blink dagger by Death Bomb, it also helps a lot because they all they want to do is bypass him and do some defense. Ignore her, she doesn't do any damage, and kill the weak supports. However, the two lives on on the Shadow Shaman proved to be a lot. Also, maybe it was stellar. Another life. roar and another opening. They lunge in, instantly going on to no tell. The snowball drags him in, but it's towards the Hex. Maybe is there, chunking him down. Could be an LGD 2-0 if there's any more mistakes. Death Prophet for 100, S4 on the run. Fly getting slowed down. Objectives are opened up, but LGD are dangerously low here. Nana looking for the punish. He has that Diffusal Blade. The Yule Scepter at the ready. Snake's coming out. They don't have a whole lot to work with. The Cheese getting up, I believe, here. Ame healing up and staying alive. LGD working on Jarek's. They'll bring him down. And now Ana's got a back. So no Death Profit for 75. No Black Hole for 50. Now that no hex Chrono is real for good. 5. <laughs> the Hex is like, oh my god, this Hex! <laughs> the Hex is real good when you have that plus one advantage, especially. Yeah. And, I mean, when you and No Tail like also has the Lotus Orb. So if he's dead, then... Or if you just hex him, then there's not much to do but die. Nice shards here. Ana finds the opening. Two hero chrono. He's going to take down the shaman. No buyback either. The boat comes in, though, trying to protect alive and keep him alive. They're not dealing with the cores, though. Maybe an Ame just doing whatever they want. And you say he lacks damage, but he's still forcing S4 on his heels, even with this very team oriented build. And maybe comes for the cleanup. Snake coming through. S4. The heal ray protects him. Maybe they'll just turn for fly instead. A deep dive. A committed roar from 11. And now the egg dropped in the midst of it. They're going to hex up Ana again. Now the Yule Scepter by maybe keeping the Enigma out of the fight. S4 unable to lend the assist. He dives the well. He has no fear. Wants to put them into eternal sleep. And oh. the whole committed just for this. They want to bring down a quap at the found. Insta buyback. Maybe waste no time. He mashes the ever-living crap out of that button. Now the rack's down. And LGD looking to make it a 2-0 sweep. Rotate towards bottom lane. Buybacks galore. Everybody losing gold, but LGD winning where it counts. That's the objectives, and that's what they are currently racking up. One lane down, two to go, and this bottom lane exposed. Good silence on no tail. Somnus just manning up. Maybe is a god in the front lines with the bow crashing in. Huge damage done. He's got the ult ready. The bashes need to be perfect for Mana. He needs that RNG now more than ever. Exorcism to silence. Doesn't matter. Right clicks for the win. And Ame. Again, just unscratched, unscathed, through it all. Another torn, another quapult. Applause indeed. OG are going to the lower bracket. One of the most interesting Medusa builds I've ever seen. Yeah. It worked. It was weird. It was like good and then bad and then good. At the end, he was unkillable. Well, he was always unkillable. It, it, uh, the, the problem was he didn't do any damage, but that's you just need to survive for certain lineup. He survived the Chrono, he survived the Black Hole, survived the Egg. And the Quap started, like, pulling a lot more weight when she got 25 as yeah. well, so... The Shaman pulled a lot more weight towards the end as well, was able... Like, the Serpent Wards, the, the buyback, like you said, for the Roche...